Hello everybody, my name is Rinsler here back again for another video, and welcome back to my Song of Ice and Fire character origin series. Just as a reminder, this series is based on the Song of Ice and Fire book series, and not the Game of Thrones TV show, which I'm not a big fan of. So without further ado, let's continue our series with Cersei Lannister, one of the most despised characters in the Song of Ice and Fire, and even the Game of Thrones series. She's one of the biggest players in the game, and also one of the most disliked characters in both cinema and novel history. She's pissed off a lot of fans over the years, so without further ado, let's discuss why. Cersei Lannister was born in Casterly Rock in 266 AC to Tywin Lannister and his cousin wife Joanna Lannister. She wasn't born alone, however, as her younger twin brother Jaime quickly followed her from the womb whilst grasping her foot. King Aerys Targaryen II, aka the Mad King, presented infant Cersei and Jaime with their weight in gold as a, as a celebration of their birth. Cersei and Jaime eventually repaid the favor by attending the tourney at King's Landing to celebrate King Aerys' 10th anniversary as king. As children, Cersei and Jaime looked virtually identical to each other and were always together. They often took turns dressing up in each other's clothing and pretending to be each other for a day. This gave Cersei some perspective and allowed her to see both a woman and man's world during her childhood youth. And this would also affect her bitterness in later years about her gender, with her often remarking that people wouldn't question her decisions as much if she were a man. This would stop, however, as, as they got older, they began to look more different from one another, so they were forced to stop dressing in each other's clothes as it became more obvious who was who. Cersei and Jaime, however, got a little too close when they were young, as they began sexually experimenting with each other. They would claim to feel like two halves of a person while they were separate, but felt whole when they had sex. They'd be caught doing this once by a servant who ratted them out to their mother. Joanna kept their relationship a secret, but moved them to separate sides of the castle and threatened to tell their father if they did so again. In 273 AC, Joanna died giving birth to Cersei's younger brother, Tyrion. Cersei unfairly blamed Tyrion for her mother's death and called him a murderer for the rest of his life. Soon after this, Elia and Oberyn Martell arrived along with their mother with hopes of marrying Elia to Jaime, Oberyn to Cersei, or both. Tywin refused, however, as he hoped to marry Jaime off to Lysa Tully and Cersei to Prince Rhaegar Targaryen. Cersei grew up to be a very beautiful girl who everyone wanted to marry. Cersei heard of her father's hopes of marrying her to Prince Rhaegar and began to fantasize about him. She even drew a picture of the pair of them riding a dragon together, but told anyone who asked about it that it was actually King Jaehaerys and good Queen Alysanne, since Tywin told her not to tell anyone about her and Rhaegar's planned marriage until it was set in stone. Cersei became lonely in her childhood without Jaime, who'd gone off to become a squire, so she began sleeping with girls her age. She never, she never loved any of them, though, and was paranoid that they were trying to come between her and Jaime. At age 10, Cersei and her friends Jane Farman and Malara Heatherspoon visited a woods witch named Maggie the Frog and asked her when she would marry and how many children she would have. Maggie prophesied that she would marry a king and that while she would have three children, the king would have more. She also told Cersei that she would outlive all her children after they became kings and queens, that Cersei would be usurped by a younger and more beautiful queen than herself, and that she would be killed by the Volancar. She soon learned that Volancar is High Valyrian for Little Brother, which convinced Cersei that Tyrion would eventually try to kill her, furthering her disdain towards him. Soon after, Malara Heatherspoon died from falling down a well and drowning. Cersei talks about how she was screaming while she was in the well, which implies that she killed her before she could tell anyone else about Maggie the Frog's prophecies. Soon afterwards, Tywin, who was handed the king for the Mad King, Aerys Targaryen II, brought Cersei to court in King's Landing to show her off. The Mad King refused Tywin's offer of marrying Cersei to Prince Rhaegar, as Rhaegar was instead going to be marrying Elia Martell of Dorne. Tywin refused every marriage proposal towards Cersei over the next few years, likely out of hope to marry Cersei to Rhaegar's younger brother Viserys Targaryen, or out of hope that frail Elia Martell would die in childbirth. Jaime visited King's Landing after being knighted, and so Cersei convinced him to join the Kingsguard so that he could stay in King's Landing unmarried with her. 
She knew her father couldn't openly object to this and promised Jamie that she could convince the Mad King to let him be on the King's Guard. Jamie accepted this offer without hesitation as he thought it was a good deal, but Tywin, thinking that the Mad King slighted him by robbing him of his heir, resigned his hand to the King and brought Cersei back with him to, King to Casterly Rock, ultimately separating the siblings once again and totally ruining their plan. Ultimately, the Mad King and his son, Prince Rhaegar, would both die during Robert's rebellion. After the war, Tywin married Cersei off to King Robert Baratheon. She at first was excited to marry a king, but on their first night having sex, Robert drunkenly called her Lyanna, since King Robert had always loved Lyanna Stark before she died. Luckily for Cersei, Jaime remained in the Kingsguard, so they began having sex with each other again in secret. Cersei had three children with her brother, named Joffrey, Marcella, and Tommen, who she posed as King Robert's children, thus giving them the surname Baratheon instead of Lannister. Robert never loved Cersei and had affairs and, had, and also had many bastard children. Cersei refused to have Robert's baby, so she had herself cleansed whenever the pair had sex together. Robert hoped to bring his tomboy daughter, Maya Stone, to King's Landing, so Cersei threatened to kill her, and Robert hit her in the face for this. When Hand of the King, John Aaron died, Cersei accompanied King Robert, Jaime, Tyrion, and all three of her children to Winterfell, where Robert asked his best friend, Eddard Stark, to replace John Aaron as his hand. While there, Cersei and Jaime had sex in an abandoned tower, but seven-year-old Bran Stark caught them, so Jaime pushed them out the window. Bran goes into a coma, and they leave for King's Landing. As, and Bran, ultimately, upon waking up, he loses his memory of the incident, which is good for Cersei and, ja and Jaime, but pretty much good for nobody else. When Joffrey is bitten by Arya Stark's direwolf Nymeria, Cersei convinces King Robert to have it executed. But since Arya had scared Nymeria off to save her earlier, Cersei demands that her sister Sansa Stark's direwolf Lady be killed instead, and he's forced to oblige to her wishes. Soon after returning to King's Landing, Ned Stark discovers that Jon Arryn had found out about the royal children's true father, and that Cersei had him killed. Ned, however, was only was only half correct, as Jon Arryn had actually been killed by his own wife, Lysa Arryn. Ned confronts Cersei and gives her a chance to flee the city before King Robert kills her and her children out of anger. Soon after, Cersei has sex with her cousin Lancel and convinces him to poison King Robert's wine so that he would die while he was out on his boar hunt. Her plan worked, and she managed to get her oldest son Joffrey coronated and Ned branded a traitor and arrested. She convinced Ned's daughter Sansa to speak out against Ned, and in return, she could marry Joffrey. Despite Sansa's pleads, King Joffrey had Ned beheaded right in front of her. Cersei disapproved of this decision, but she couldn't argue now that Joffrey was king. Jaime gets captured by Robb Stark in the Battle of the Whispering Wood, and Tyrion soon arrives as acting Hand of the King, satiating Cersei's fury by promising to rescue Jaime. Tyrion roots out Cersei's informants, but she's quick to replace them with the Kettle Black brothers. She reluctantly agrees to send her daughter, Marcella, to Dorne in order to form an alliance with House Martell against King Stannis and Renly Baratheon, who have both attempted to become king following Robert's death. She takes her frustrations out on the still-captured Sansa Stark and bullies her regularly. During the Bow of the Blackwater, Cersei... During the Bow of the Blackwater, Cersei and the other noble women stay inside the Red Keep where she keeps guards, ready to kill everyone inside if they lose the battle to avoid a hostage crisis. Cersei nearly costs the Lannisters the battle by recalling King Joffrey, which, called, which caused many of the knights to lose confidence in themselves and nearly die. Sir Mandon Moore of the Kingsguard tries to kill Tyrion during the battle, and it's implied that Cersei told him to do so. Upon Tywin's return to King's Landing, he forces Cersei off the small council and plans to marry her off again, which frustrates her. King Joffrey is supposed to marry Marjorie Tyrell, 
in order to repay House Tyrell for aiding them during the Battle of the Blackwater, but he ends up being poisoned at his own wedding feast. Cersei is quick to blame Tyrion for the incident since he was acting as cupbearer during the time. Soon after, Jaime finally returns to the city and the pair have passionate sex in the Sept of Baelor right next to their son's body. This is the last time that they have sex though as Jaime is changed on the road and Cersei and Jaime fall out of love with each other. When Tyrion demands a trial by combat to prove his innocence, Cersei chooses Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain that rides as her champion, against Tyrion's champion, the Red Viper, Oberyn Martell. They both end up killing each other in the fight, but Oberyn dies first, so Tyrion is set to be executed for regicide. However, Jaime frees Tyrion, and he kills Tywin before fleeing to Pentos. Tommen becomes the new king after Joffrey's death, and Cersei becomes his queen regent. She begins to obsess over Maggie the Frog's prophecy since most of it has come true. She married a king, had three children, and now one of them had become king and died. She becomes overprotective and even abusive towards Tommen, both verbally and physically. She orders Tyrion's guards executed, and after finding a Tyrell coin in Tyrion's chamber, she's convinced Tommen's bride-to-be, Marjorie Tyrell, and her entire family are plotting against the Lannisters and are planning to usurp them from their power. She orders Tyrion to be found and killed, which results in the deaths of many innocent people who happen to look like Tyrion. She also burns the Tower of the Hand with wildfire out of paranoia that someone's inside the walls, and, and she also manages to alienate her only ally, her brother Jaime, so much that he leaves the city out of anger. Cersei also has an affair with Sir Osney Kettleblack of the Kingsguard and forces him to murder the High Septon and have sex with Marjorie Tyrell. She, she arms the Faith Militant and plans to have Sir Osney confess to them that he had sex with Marjorie so that she would be arrested. She promises to pardon Sir Osney after he does this. C Cersei begins to surround herself with flatterers and sycophants has an affair with Taina Merriweather, who becomes her regular bed warmer, and begins to drink heavily and gain weight. She also assigns former disgraced Maester Kyburn as her new Master of Whispers to replace Varys, and she begins sending women that she doesn't like to be his torture subjects. She blames the washerwomen for shrinking her gowns, but in actuality, Cersei's been putting on weight due to her, due to her heavy drinking. She makes enemies with the Iron Bank of Bravos for ignoring her debts and butts heads with her uncle, Kevin Lannister, who becomes the new regent and dismisses Cersei from power. Her plan with Marjorie works and she is arrested. However, 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 under torture, Sir Osney reveals his own affair with Cersei and she herself is arrested. She denies her affair with Jaime and her part in the former High Septon's death. She sends a letter to Jaime asking him to represent her in a trial by combat, but he orders the letter burned. Cersei confesses to her affairs with Lancel and Sir Osney Kettleblack, and is forced to walk naked back to the Red Keep for all to see. She is harassed by the people who call her brotherfucker and pelt her with food. She breaks down crying as she re-enters the castle where she is introduced to Sir Robert Strong of the King's Guard. And that is the story of Cersei Lannister up to this point in the books. We don't know where, where her story goes at this point, but there's two more books set to be released in the series, The Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring. So, we, so we'll know then where Cersei's story will go. There's a couple of theories about how Cersei will die, as pretty much everybody agrees that Cersei is most definitely going to die by series end, with most people predicting that she'll die in the next book. A lot of people are also speculating that the Volencar, who's prophesied to kill her, is not actually Tyrion, but is Jaime, since Jaime was actually born right after Cersei, which makes Jaime her younger brother as well. It's unknown at this time whether or not this will come true. We'll just have to find out in the next two books, or possibly one, depending on how far Cersei makes it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I want to apologize for how long it took me to make this. I've been going through my last couple weeks of school and I actually had my very last day of school yesterday. I've graduated from high school and I'm very happy that I can focus more on things I like to do, like YouTube. Um, I want to apologize because I know there was a lot of awkward pauses in this video. 
I spent a long time writing the script for this and I lost my place a couple of times. So I apologize about that. But anyway, guys, if you find my voice boring, there's plenty of other YouTubers who make way better videos than me. And you, of course, you should read the Song of Ice and Fire books. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with all your friends and all your various social media accounts. And if you liked or disliked this video, please make sure to tell me in the comments down below. I appreciate the constructive criticism. So thank you guys and girls, and I'll see all you dudes and chicks in the next video.